What's going on guys? Welcome to Fearless Fridays. So today we're gonna to talk about releasing while approaching. Now, before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Consider hitting like and subscribe. We post multiple videos throughout the week. We do live teachings, live Q and A's. I do videos, Brian does videos, tons of information on how to turn you into a solid, more grounded, attractive man. Let's just hop into it. Maybe you're the kind of guy who doesn't go out and approach because you got a lot of fear of rejection. Maybe you do go out and approach, but you don't stay out for a very long period of time before you come back. Maybe you get rejected and you completely shut down and it just, it just turns you off, right? So what I wanna talk about is how to use revealing and releasing to your advantage so that you can actually hang out for a bit longer instead of wrapping it up and not getting the repetition in, right? Because remember, repetition is key. Now, I remember earlier on going out and getting rejected and that shutting me down, like emotionally, I go into apathy, I get sad, I get angry. I had all these lower emotions, right? And so with all, all those lower emotions, what I started to do was associate that with approaching or associate that with meeting women. So when it came to be like, I wanna go out and approach or I wanna go out and talk to women today or I should go out and approach and talk to women today. I just felt this heaviness around it. Like I really don't wanna go out and do it. And the heaviness was a, was a turn off because I was just really associating pain with approaching. Now, it wasn't until I really got the repetition now, I really started to enjoy the approaching. And the number one thing that really helped me with getting the repetition in and making it all stick together was the revealing part of it or the releasing part of it as we used to call it. Now, what does that look like? What is revealing or releasing for approaching? Well, think about it like this. When you guys go out and you say, let's say you get rejected, let's say you're not getting any good results and you start to get heavy or you start to have that negative self-talk. What am I doing out here? Why am I bothering people? What's the point? All those little stories and all those little programs that you have, that stuff can be released on. If you were to grab a seat on a bench and feel those emotions out, right? Listen to what the voices are saying. You can start to detach yourself from the heavy emotion associated with, with the thoughts, right? So if your thoughts are saying, I'm out here bothering people, I shouldn't be doing this, I feel needy, a whole host of thoughts, right? They come in so many different forms and you start to get energetically drained like you start to feel your body start to, uh, right? And you want to go back to the car. You want to go back home. You want to distract from actually doing the work, right? Because you know, like we know, the repetition is what grows you. And if you're not getting your reps in, you're not growing. So again, taking that seat and being like, why am I heavy right now? What's going on, right? What's the story that's playing in my head? Maybe it'll sound something like I got rejected. Okay, the girl shut me down and I feel like a piece of crap. I don't feel good enough. I don't feel worthy enough. And you start to feel that in your body, right? Because a lot of the times what we're doing is we're resisting feeling those emotions. And when we resist it, we're just stuffing them down and they're not serving us in any way by stuffing them down because they manifest in other ways. What some of us would do is go watch porn, go stuff our face with food, junk food, not healthy food. And we just kind of created another cycle of heavy emotions. So we're getting more and more and more of the same thing because we're not processing the emotions. So when you sit down and you're like, okay, I'm feeling heavy, I got rejected, I feel like a piece of crap, start to dig in. What's the layer beneath that? Why do you feel like crap? Why do you feel like crap? Because I feel like I'm never gonna get this right. And I feel like if I never get this right, I'm never gonna get the girl I want, right? And as you start to do that, just be aware of what your body is saying. What are your emotions saying? Are they moving, are they shifting, are they, is it stagnating? A lot of times those emotions will pick up and get heavier before they actually get lighter. So just watch out for any shifts in emotions or any shifts in energy in the body. If it's moving, you're doing it the right way. Don't force it, just ask the questions. I would ask myself, cool, what well, can I allow myself to feel as crappy as I do right now without trying to change it? Even that will make your energy shift a little bit in your body. Or you could even ask yourself, can I allow myself to resist this as much as I'm resisting it right now? And watch what your body does, right? Your subconscious is gonna do what it's gonna do. You just have to be the person who constructs the questions and directs it. The more you get comfortable with directing it by asking good questions and being with the emotions, the faster they change and shift. What are you looking for? What you're looking for is to become lighter emotionally. So you can go from feeling like sad or angry to feeling at peace and calm, right? Because when you're at peace and you're at calm, your approaching goes way better. 
when you're carrying around all this luggage of being like, oh, I'm not good enough, what's the point? Girls are not gonna like me, I'm bothering people. It makes you show up a certain way in your approaching. And that's the exact way that'll get you rejected. And it almost works flawlessly every time, right? So what you've gotta get good at is learning how to shift those emotions so that you show up as your better self. So also notice when you're starting to shift your emotions that you start to get lighter. You guys can do this with everything in every area of your life. The minute you get lighter, notice how easy things seem to be. You might be like, oh, it's very hard to go talk to that girl right now. And then you shift your emotions and you get lighter. Then all of a sudden it's like, oh, that's not hard at all. I'm gonna go over there and just say hi. And you just walk over there and do it. You have control of your emotional states. And that's what revealing teaches, right? So if you're struggling in your approaches, take time aside, sit down and be with your emotions. When I went out for a month straight and approached every day, I sat down, I released, I journaled. I got back up, I approached more. I was going out for sometimes 12 hour days. Like I'd get there maybe 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. and I'd be out until about 10 p.m., 9 p.m. I roll into a bar when the bar is open. And I wouldn't have been able to do that had I not slowed down, released, and fixed my emotional state. You guys are capable of going much further in your approaching than you know until you start releasing and then you start realizing you can go all day if you wanted to, if you wanted to. Obviously, the more time you have an attention, the more you're gonna grow, the more approach that you do per day, the more you go into flow states, which increases your chances of getting the girl that you're looking for or a date, period, right? So anyway, guys, take this information, use it. I hope that it serves you well. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Remember, only the confident really love. Peace.